Hey, y'all. It's Diana again in broad daylight. This is Labor Day weekend, and I hope y'all all got something fun planned. I'm out here on the farm with Miss Jean. Yeah, and I just wanted to tell y'all, I don't know which witch out there put a spell on me but things have been going pretty bad. I guess I am accepting my karma. <laughs> when we had that hurricane come by last week, we had a tree down in the neighborhood and it took out our electricity for a couple of days. And it done something at that time that messed up my router for my internet. So right now I have no internet. And my television comes through the internet. So. I'm out at Miss Jean's for the weekend so that I can have internet. I got addicted to that stuff. And you know, for the last two nights, I've had to actually read a book. <laughs> so I've enjoyed doing old fashioned things. And I want to do a shout out to my fellow rowdy girls, the Diva League girls. Miss Naya Richards from Miami, Florida. Also from Saratoga, New York. And Aubrey Siegel from Austin, Texas. I love you girls. And I love a bunch of, bunch of you girls out there, but those are my home girls, you know. So, <laughs> I really hope y'all having a good weekend. Last time I talked to, to Naya and, and Audrey, they were doing pretty good, so I hope you're doing good now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna sit here with this bad boy and enjoy the weekend, mess up online a little bit, possibly develop some more karma. That does happen. And also, when I got in my van to come out here, there was a roar in my van. Somebody looked at it and says, it, it's your uh, exhaust fans when I am. So I have to get that fixed come first of the week or I won't have wheels. So yeah, Mima is having her karma. <laughs> so, yeah. And Miss Audrey, I want to ask you right now if I can work up your travel. I would love for you to come and stay with me for a couple of weeks when it cools off so you can help me figure out how to organize my house. I'm asking you officially in front of the world to come help this old lady. I need more support. I need, you know, somebody to give me that get up and go to get it done. And I think you could do that. I love you, girl. Okay, what else did I need to talk about today? I don't know. It's a nice breeze blowing right now. It, it feels like it may be going to cool off a little bit. I am sure ready for fall. I don't know about the rest of you. Mm-hmm, I sure am. But it's so pretty out here. You know, this this was was built on Jean and my grandfather's dairy farm. So it just brings up back so many memories to be out here. You know, this pond out here, that was my grandpa's pond and he took me fishing out here when I was little. The first place I ever went fishing. <laughs> and I can remember him so well. Mm -hmm. I was actually named after him. <laughs> so he doted on me. Of course, I don't use that name anymore. And it sort of makes my skin crawl to even hear it. <laughs> So, um, that was just a, 
I use this tidbit information to, uh, but I don't fish anymore though. Mm -mm. All these years I've never put the first pole out in that pond. And my mama, she was a fisher. She loved to go fishing. They had a pond built on their farm back in North Carolina. And she fished all the time. And when we moved down here, we went out to Lando Lakes. Her and her oldest sister loved to fish. And I would take them out there. I enjoyed, you know, visiting with them, putting out a picnic lunch, reading a book or something, but as far as fishing, no. I'm not, not into that kind of thing. I didn't have the patience for it. Now, not to say that I wouldn't throw it out. Now, if I started catching a fish, oh, I enjoyed reeling it in, but I don't have the patience to sit out there and just wait for something to come along and bite it. Not my cup of tea. <laughs> So, um, yeah. I wish I did have something else to talk about. I got my Humana Plan insurance in the mail. It's officially covered by Humana. See, Audrey, I told you and now I got it. So, okay, I'll let y'all go, since I'm already rabbing on about nothing for too long. <laughs> no makeup, no nothing, looking horrible. <laughs> I didn't do any fashion show in front of this, because I'm just in my jeans and my t-shirt. So, yeah. If I think of something else to say, I'll come back and talk again, maybe. Bye-bye, y'all. I love y'all. Some of you, at least. And you know who you are. The rest of you can bite me, bitch. <laughs> so, if y'all are looking for something to entertain yourselves this weekend, check out my series, Woman Once Removed. Yeah.